Please remember to keep checking out the links down in the description. I have been kind of out of commission and out of the loop of stuff that may be going on out there in the world and other states and other countries just because I've been sick and I had some personal things going on. But please keep checking out the links down in the description. Those links are where we're going to get any information on any new news that I don't have access to at the moment. Any ways that we can help the communities that desperately need our help. Please keep checking those out and don't stop because I'm going to keep reminding you forever essentially. Hello frenzies, welcome back to my channel. Uh, yeah, hi, hello, I missed last week. I'm not that worried about it. And if you do not follow me in other social medias where I did announce that I was going to be not posting a video last week, please uh, follow, those links are under the important links down in the description. I just, I needed a week off and the footage I filmed for last week, I ended up hating. I hated it so much. I was editing it the night before it was supposed to go up and I was like, none of this. I hate all of it and I'm not gonna post that. So hi, hello, I'm back. Videos will resume as scheduled. Hey, <laughs> I haven't filmed in like two weeks too so I'm like I feel like a little a little off setting up my camera and everything feels so strange. But hi, hello, we're gonna talk about what the fuck Glee was. <laughs> This was a this was a thing on TikTok a while ago. People were talking about how weird Glee was. Um, and I, I did write it down in my planner, but again, it's something I wrote down in my planner that happened like months ago. So now that it's happening now as a video on my channel, it feels like kind of outdated. But anyway, yeah, what the fuck was Glee? And I, I like I want to kind of preface this by saying that I understand that for the time that Glee was out and happening, it was incredibly progressive because what was happening on Glee was not happening on other shows at the time. But I remember season three was out when I was a senior in high school. So uh, 2014. God, I feel so old when I say things like that. It was out in 2014. No, early 2013. It was out in 2013. Oh my God. Um, Because I had seen... I had a lot of friends that were like wicked into Glee and I was into like, you know, a, a pop music, like popular pop music. And I was into kind of like musical theater and like I was in theater. So a lot of friends that I was with constantly watched Glee. So I figured I'd get into it. And when I was able to go on the France trip, um, I think it was season two, maybe season one. No, I think it was season two. When I went on my, uh, the school's French trip, they had Glee season two, episode one on like the little TVs you can watch. And I watched that episode f repeatedly for hours. So I had seen some Glee. So I decided to watch, uh, decide, bleh. I decided I was gonna watch season three. Um, I didn't get to watch all the episodes because we had issues with having cable uh, my senior year. I did watch a couple episodes of season four when, you know, they graduate and go to New York and everything, but I really didn't follow it too much like after that. Yeah, what the fuck was Glee, though? What was it? Like, understanding that it was fairly progressive, what the fuck is going on? Because season three, if you didn't know, um, the bully that, like, bullies the only gay character for, I mean, he's the only gay character for quite a long time, who bullies the only gay character is, like, secretly gay, which, like, cool, yeah, that is a thing that happens, but also that's such, like, an uncomfortable trope, and I really am not a fan of that, um, tries to unalive himself in like the third episode of season three of Glee. And the thing is, it's like, I don't really have a lot of ground to talk about this because I'm not kind of like a media analysis person and I don't have, I guess, like the right education or just like the right words to say, or like, I don't know the right words on how like to really talk about this like in depth, but I, in one way, I kind of appreciated it because they, Blaine is singing Cough Syrup by, is it Young Giants or is that what the band is called? Um, the, the main gay character's boyfriend is singing Cough Syrup on stage at school while the ex-bully, now gay, is like going through the motions of trying to unalive himself, like he's getting dressed and everything, which like, that, like, okay, but also like, maybe don't show that I that's the main thing that has always stuck out to me especially because my senior year of high school I've talked about this before I was like incredibly like depressed and suicidal so seeing that was like a lot that was a lot and like it gets resolved he's he's fine he's alive and he goes on to like live his best life but what was that what was that what was that and then throughout the season 
thin out Santana just in the middle of the fucking school hallway. And I mean, there's not a lot of people hanging around and it's not stuff that's like talked about. Like there's not other people talking about it. She just thinks other people are talking about it. But oh my God, when you're that far in the closet for somebody that you've never really gotten along with and have kind of, I think they slept together in the past to just randomly yell shit about how you're a lesbian. What? What? Quinn's whole storyline, like I said, I've only seen season three and the first episode of season two. What the fuck is up with Quinn? What, like, what? <laughs> Just what was Glee, man? What the fuck was Glee? And this is coming from somebody who enjoyed the show and really, like, had wanted to get into it but just never could. What the fuck was Glee? Why was it this way? <laughs> And don't even, don't even get me started on Matthew Morrison. Like I said, I don't know too much about Glee as a whole, but I know plenty about Matthew Morrison more than I want to know. And like, why? 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 Hello? Why? I just, I can't. And then the whole Finn and Rachel getting married subplot. Quinn gets hit by a car and is in a wheelchair for like two episodes. And then that kid that was from like the Glee project that was like super religious, so they made that his entire character. And Quinn and Artie singing I'm Still Standing in wheelchairs. Just, I have seen, um, I've seen that watch, like, I think it's Watch Mojo, that Watch Mojo video about things that happen in Glee that absolutely would not fly on TV, like, in, like, 2021. I, yeah. Yeah. A lot of the shits. What is, the, is it in season three? Where Blaine, like, sings some kind of song and Sue comes out and does super bass? Or is that season four? I don't remember. I, ugh. Glee feels like a fever dream when you talk about it. It feels like a fever dream. And like I said, it was very progressive and like so different from anything else that was on TV for the time. But also all of the shit that happens in Glee just feels like a fever dream because they do stuff like that. Like they have, you know, gay characters that are outwardly gay and are presenting as gay and the the Blaine and Kurt kiss in season two and like their boyfriends and it's a whole thing. But like, then they just do like the absolute batshit crazy things like having Blaine leave a very like prestigious private school to come to a public school where his boyfriend constantly got hate crimed. Like, they don't go into the specifics of like whether or not his parents are okay with that, but are his parents okay with that? And then him and his brother singing somebody that I used to know, like, why, why was this a thing? Why was any of this a thing? And like, don't get me wrong, I love Glee covers of like quite a few things. I have a couple Glee songs still on my phone. Uh, it's not unusual, the Darren Chris cover. I love that cover. But oh my god, why was Glee the way that it was? <laughs> I, ge I genuinely mean no hate if you like loved Glee and like are a hard ride or die like Glee fan. I'm no judgment. I'm not like trying to be rude about it. I just remember watching it and having certain thoughts about it. And now that like other people are kind of being like, hey, yeah, remember when this happened? Why did that happen? I'm kind of like, oh yeah, why did that happen? <laughs> it's a lot. It is a lot. It was a lot. There was a lot going on. And that's what you missed on Glee. <laughs> And then what do they do? Glee! And the fucking, what was it? It's, they're constantly doing this. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta get back into the swing of filming videos. Like I said, I haven't filmed a video in a couple weeks uh, because the one I did film I hated, so I just scrapped it and then didn't have the video for a week. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if there's other certain parts of Glee that you were like, what the fuck is this? Because I feel like there is quite a few. Every season I feel like has a good good handful of what the fuck. So yeah. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Now I have to clean. Because my room is... Ugh, my room's horrible. I really gotta clean.